well, let me ask you a question first. All right. So the difference between charging them on site and then doing a change out, what's the advantage, disadvantage, what's the best way of doing it? Okay, if you recharge on site, you lessen your chance of leakage. When you take extinguishers and you take them off the property, this is a lot of fire extinguishers we have here. You put them in the back of a pickup truck, they go to the shop, they get recharged. They're supposed to be leak tested, so when they come back, they're not leaking. The biggest problem is, you take these extinguishers and you stack them up on the floor in the back of the truck, they bounce around for 5, 10, 15, 20 miles. When you do that, you can break these seals. These seals here break very easily. Once the seal breaks, if it gets jarred again, the pin can come loose. If it gets jarred again, pin falls out. If it gets jarred again, it can discharge it, which can be a leaker. That can be one of the problems. Uh, some manufacturers, you can see there's not a lot of tolerance there between the top of the handle and the pull pin. Some manufacturers are even less than that. So if it, if it bumps hard enough, it can still break the seal. The main thing is jarring. When it gets jarred, you take a chance of having a leaker. When you have a leaker, you gotta redo it again. Most people don't wanna get to a job site and see that, and they have to go back to a shop, they have to recharge just that one fire extinguisher. A lot of times they'll just say, oh, well, they'll just put a tamper tie on and say, that's good. 